So welcome to a new series called 3D Tracking in After Effects. Uh, what we're basically going to do is, uh, it's going to be about five lessons on how to track, uh, how to add 3D objects into scenes in uh, After Effects. Basically, um, the first lesson is going to contain 90% of what you need to know, and the other lessons will be more advanced, so you can take a look at them if you want to learn more. So I'm just going to get started. Um, I'll make this footage available in the description. So I've basically got some drone footage and a flag PNG. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into my composition to create a composition. And I'm just going to scrub through this. As you can see, it's a nice kind of smooth uh, aerial shot of Los Angeles. So in this tutorial, we're going to track this footage and we're, we're going to attempt to create a virtual camera that matches this uh, physical drone. So I'm just going to get started. Uh, luckily, After Effects has automated everything. So I'm just going to go to Window Tracker and I'm going to choose Track Camera. As soon as you hit that, it basically starts analyzing the footage and um, it's basically going through every frame. So over here, if you open up the Advanced tab, the Solve method is set to Auto Detect. And it's basically going to try and guess one of these three algorithms. So we have Typical, which is your typical kind of handheld footage, mostly flat scene, which would be, which would be similar to this here. Uh, kind of like uh, scenery footage and a tripod pan which is self-explanatory basically cameras fixed on a tripod and it kind of does an arc movement uh, so I'm guessing it's, it's going to detect a mostly flat scene you can also do a detailed analysis if you check here I usually check here but uh, the downside is it's very processor intensive but it's worth using it for um, a more kind of uh, accurate solution. So now it's just solving the camera which means uh, it's gonna place markers, tracking points all over the scene you'll see in a minute. Uh, if you just click here you'll see the tracking points uh, and these are fixed uh, to the buildings and the roads. Uh, when you scrub it might look like they're kind of slipping off but this is basically uh, in CC 2015 you just have this kind of problem where it doesn't um, doesn't update quick enough so if you look at maybe this point here it's fixed on like the second floor and then you scrub forward that point's still kind of there so it, they are fixed it's just um, uh, the updates not doing a very good job to be honest maybe fast draft nope uh, I'll keep it at adaptive Okay, so next uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a detailed analysis because this won't be uh, sufficient so I'm just going to check here and I'm just going to skip forward it's basically going to do the exact same thing as it did before analyze and solve so I'm just going to skip ahead until it's uh, calculated everything okay so we have a lot more tracking points now as you can notice um, there's way more tracking points but um, this is just going to help us get a more kind of accurate solution. So what I'm going to do next is just show you how to kind of delete points. Um, you just basically click and drag and it draws like a lasso and these kind of maybe some of these there's one like in the sky there above the building. So I'm just going to highlight these points and delete them. Hit delete and it basically recalculates uh, the solution because we're actually more interested in these points down here on the ground level so I might just get rid of some of the far away points but if there's any points that kind of look like stray points uh, you just basically click and drag around them and then hit delete and the solution updates okay so it's just updated the scene as you can see here the method used was a mostly flat scene so it detected that and the average error is 0 0.7 which is kind of high but uh, I like to stay at kind of 0 0.5 but uh, this should work um, so next I'm just gonna create a camera and a ground plane so I'm just gonna kind of zoom to about here I'm gonna click and drag to select these points on the kind of towards the front I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose create null and camera so what that does is it adds a new null to our scene which is kind of like an origin point 
Uh, I'm just going to make this bigger. As you can see, there's an origin point here. And it seems fixed to the top of this building down here. It looks pretty well fixed. So we're going to test that. And we have a 3D camera, which you can't see. But if we just go to Custom View 1, there it is. Uh, moving in a very nice kind of straight line as expected because that's how the drone would have kind of moved and it's just moving backwards so I'm just gonna go back to 3D tracker camera click on the null and I'm gonna add my flag into the scene now to test this because the markers are kind of slipping and I want to see if this solution is a nice kind of fixed uh, solution so I'm just gonna put the flag drag and drop it I'm going to hit Y to move the anchor, hold down Control to make it snap to the bottom here, hit V to go back to select. I'm going to come down here, make this 3D, very important. Uh, hit P on the null and hit P on the flag to open up positions. Uh, I'm going to click on position for the null, edit, copy, click on position for the flag, edit, paste. As you can see that flags now down here and it's basically fixed to the top of that building and it seems to be moving quite nice I'm just gonna go to off there you go that looks pretty well uh, fixed so I mean this will 90% uh, of the time this will be a sufficient kind of solution for for the projects your client wants but um, so 90% so of the time, this is going to be good enough. But uh, if you want to get in depth, join me in the next tutorial. And please share this and subscribe if you found it useful. Thanks for watching.